Hey guys, it's Melissa. Haven't done a come thrift with me video in a while. Uh, today was just too beautiful to stay inside all day. So I'm heading out to Goodwill. Um, I'm at my usual Goodwill just because I always find stuff there. But I think after this I want to venture out um, a little bit and check out a couple SPCA thrift stores and another Goodwill that's a little bit further from me. Um, but we're going to go ahead and start with my usual place. I'm hoping I find some good stuff. I'm hoping to find some shorts. I really need some new like Levi's shorts would be awesome. Um, maybe some summery tops. I don't know. So let's go ahead and see what we can find. Okay, so I just got done at the other location and then drove out to Roseville. I've heard a lot of really good things about the thrift stores out here, so I'm really excited to check them out. But let me show you really quickly what I found at the other location. Um, the first thing is this perfect condition black maxi dress. Um, it kind of cinches at the waist and just has these spaghetti straps on top. What I'm super thrilled about um, is that it's actually not too long on me because I'm pretty short and so usually shopping for maxi dresses, they're usually always too long on me. Um, so this one was $12.99, which was a little bit pricey, but it's in excellent condition and the fact that it fit me so well, I feel like it was totally worth it. Um, I also picked up a Pit Boy um, from Fallout t-shirt for my husband. It has a tiny bit of pilling on it, like really, really, really slight pilling, but I figured he could wear it while doing yard work or going camping or whatnot. He just really likes Fallout and I saw it, so I had to get it for him. Um, one thing I did do today at that location that I do every once in a while is I check the kids section for mislabeled items. So I actually found two things in the kids section today. The first of which is this vintage striped ringer tee, which I'm so excited about. And it was only $2.99. Um, and that's the great thing about finding stuff in the kids section too that's mislabeled is it's usually cheaper because they're kids clothes. So the other item that I found and the last item from this location um, is this pair of Gap uh, boot cut button fly jeans. These are in really good condition. The only thing that's weird is that all the tags are cut off of them, um, except for the size, but they did have these marked as a girl's 10 when in fact they're actually a women's zero. So I was really excited to find these. I think I'm just gonna cut the bootleg off of the bottom and make them um, kind of those high water style frayed at the bottom jeans. Um, but we are running out of time before these other locations close. So I want to go ahead and run in and see what I can find.
I think I've had a pretty good run today. Let me go ahead and show you what I found in the final location. I found that I've gotten a lot more picky as I've gotten older with thrifting. Like I don't just buy stuff just because it's cheap. Like I really have just come to terms with what I will actually wear. And that's a lot of black, a lot of neutrals and um, very comfortable clothing. Um, and not only that, like I'm willing to spend a little bit more if it fits really well. So let me show you what I got. I got this really cute cropped black and white stripe, super staple black and white. Just, I don't know, anything with stripes, it's pretty much, I'm going to buy it. I also got these really cute flowy um, shorts from Forever 21. They're high-waisted and these were $5.99. They're super light and flowy and I've gotten to a point now where I'm just getting older so I can't wear like the same shorts I feel like that I used to. I like them to be a lot longer, um, not as tight. I guess more like mom jeans is what they call them now. So I'm trying to go out and buy a lot more of those style shorts. Um, the next top that I got is from Aeropostale. Aeropostale, is that how you say Aeropostale? Aeropostale. I think that's how you say that. And it's a uh, mock neck. I just love this cut on me for some reason. It is kind of more of a knit material, which I'm not really sure how it's going to work out with summer. But it really doesn't feel too heavy. It's just really, really soft. Um, so I'm really excited about this one. This one was only $1.99, so that's a steal. And then last, but certainly not least... Um, it's almost the same exact color as the other shirt. Again, you just got to come to terms with what you're actually going to wear and not waste a bunch of money. This is like a throwback brand for me, Mud. Do you guys remember that? I think they used to sell it at um, Mervyn's. Was that Mervyn's? And maybe they sell it at Kohl's now or something. This is like another high neck version, um, but instead of the turtleneck on top, it just has these little spaghetti straps. And I really love this cut too. Like pretty much anything that's high necked again it's comfortable it's modest it's just kind of what i'm into now and this one was also only a dollar 99 so overall i really didn't get that much stuff today but i feel like the quality of stuff that i got um and the fact that i'm going to be able to wear all of it consistently makes me really happy so um all in all i feel like today was a good day i do feel like i spend way too much time in the stores for some reason because I just go through every single section um so my husband's been texting me like where are you are we gonna eat dinner and blah, blah, blah. so um but yeah I hope you guys enjoyed coming along with me um if you'd like to see a thrift haul and try on video of all of the items that I found today leave a comment below um if you enjoy these videos please feel free to subscribe and we'll see you next time bye